Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a drama thriller film called Run Hide Fight from 2020. Enjoy your viewing. Zoe is a teenager who is having a hard time dealing with the death of her mother. She thinks she can still see her mother around and even have conversations with her. This has led to her emotional withdrawal and has also affected her relationship with her father, Todd, who tries his best to connect with her, for example by teaching her to hunt. During one of the hunts, he gives her an important piece of advice. Always finish what you start. These words resonate with Zoe, and when her shot only wounds the deer, she ends its suffering by finishing the job. When Todd returns home, he tells Zoe that maybe they should see a therapist again, because she is drifting away from everything that is important to her. This remark hurts Zoe, and they begin to argue, which seems to be not the first time they have done so. They are interrupted by Zoe's best friend, Louis, who has come to pick her up for school. On the way to school, they exchange insults with the bullies in the other car, and notice their classmate Chris setting up a strange device in the middle of an open field. They think it's just another prank. At school, Louis tries to ask Zoe to the prom, but she doesn't like the idea. The boy also thinks that she is withdrawn, and this annoys her as much as her father's remarks. She goes to the bathroom after Louis accidentally spills a drink on her and finds Anna there. Anna hurries out, and Zoe takes the opportunity to check what she left there, but finds nothing. Several incendiary devices go off in the city, including the one Chris placed at the school. Due to the large number of fires, the roads are crowded, and the emergency services and police are overwhelmed. At this point, a van carrying two armed teenagers crashes into the school cafeteria, Tristan and Chris. They are joined by Anna and Kip, who are also armed. After killing several students, Tristan demands that everyone use their phones to tell their parents what is happening. Lewis writes a message to his mother saying that he has no regrets. Meanwhile, Zoe learns of the attack through a wounded girl who enters the restroom and dies there. Zoe sneaks through the ventilation and falls into the school kitchen, where the cook is hiding. When Chris comes to the noise, the cook tries to confront him, but he shoots her. After he leaves, Zoe goes out the back door. Meanwhile, all the students have already contacted their parents. Tristan picks up the phone and calls the school administration to report the shooting. According to the rules, before announcing a school lockdown, the information needs to be confirmed, so Tristan asks all students to start live streaming from their phones and asks the video hosting platforms not to interrupt the broadcasts, otherwise he will start shooting people. When Tristan begins to speak out about the truth, the school principal and a security guard come to the cafeteria to check on the situation. The principal tries to talk Tristan out of it, apologizing for not hearing him earlier, but Chris shoots the principal and lets the guard escape. Tristan asks everyone to turn off the broadcast except for the one with the most viewers. This is Lewis's broadcast on the school's social media page. Lewis is ordered to follow Tristan and film everything, and the hostages are ordered to barricade the hole in the wall made by the van. Outside, Zoe decides to escape, but returns when she hears voices. She stops a group of students at the entrance to the school and warns them of the danger. They walk away, except for her friend Cora, who agrees to help warn the other classes. One of the teachers doesn't think what they're doing is true and doesn't pay attention, so Zoe breaks a window in another classroom to make sure they're heard. This time, they believe them, and the whole class escapes through the window while Zoe pulls the fire alarm. But this proves to be useless, as Anna cuts off the electricity. Right after the school administration reports the attack, the homemade bomb Kip left there earlier explodes. Finally, the police arrive and the sheriff begins to secure the perimeter. The situation finally makes it to the news, although they don't show a stream, but record from outside. Irritated, Tristan says into the phone camera that the public wants to see him, not some reporter. Meanwhile, Zoe searches the school to warn any students still inside to leave the building. However, Anna spots her and starts shooting. Zoe is shot in the leg, but manages to escape and hide in a room filled with balloons. Thanks to the balloons, she remains invisible and jumps on Anna when she is looking for her. The girls start a fight for the gun, in which Zoe overpowers Anna and shoots her. Lewis continues to record, and meanwhile, Tristan enters the Spanish classroom to take the students with him to the cafeteria. The teacher tries to calm him down, but Tristan forces her to take off her blouse. He is about to touch her when Lewis interrupts him, saying that he has some questions from the audience, thus distracting Tristan's attention. Tristan explains that the plan was 14 months in the making, as he had to study the blueprints of the building, collect weapons, etc. The policeman comes to Tristan's house to talk to his parents, but finds that his mother has not been breathing for a long time. Meanwhile, Zoe's father hears the news of the shooting on the radio and decides to go to school with a gun. In the cafeteria, Chris talks to the voices in his head, and when he hears the news of the police arriving, he starts shooting at them. Tristan hears the gunshots and decides to return, taking the entire Spanish class with him. Zoe sees them in the hallway, 
and when Kip walks in the opposite direction from the group, she decides to follow him. Kip is trying to get to another classroom full of students, so Zoe steps in front of him to get his attention and force him to chase her. She leads him across the slippery floor, and after he falls, she sprays him in the face with a fire extinguisher and hits him with the same extinguisher. Zoe drags Kip into a back room and handcuffs him to a chair. Kip confesses that he is doing this because of the bullying he experienced in middle school. Zoe calls him pathetic and disgusting for using this as an excuse to kill. After taking his weapon, Zoe meets another group of students and their teacher. Wanting to help them escape, she borrows a phone and calls Cora, who hands the phone to the sheriff to coordinate a plan. The sheriff tells the reporters to film him, not the school, and then calls Tristan's phone. He distracts him with conversations while Zoe leads the students safely to the exit, but it ends up on the news, which allows Tristan to realize the ruse. He hangs up and starts calling his accomplices. Zoe has Anna's phone, so she answers it. Tristan demands that she show herself, otherwise he will start shooting people. As proof, he kills one student. Zoe says she will come to him. Zoe returns to the cafeteria and frees Kip, who feels guilty about what he did and wants to die. Zoe tells him that he must take responsibility for his actions and expects his cooperation. She gives him back his gun. Meanwhile, Zoe's father gets to the school and prepares a weapon to help his daughter. Zoe comes to the cafeteria and Tristan starts asking her questions for the stream. An angry Chris wants to destroy her for eliminating his sister, but Tristan won't let him, as he wants to do it at the right time. They are unexpectedly interrupted by Kip, who, after a verbal altercation with Chris and Tristan, fires a shotgun, wounding Tristan in the shoulder, but Chris eliminates Kip. In the shootout, Lewis is wounded. Taking advantage of the distraction, Lewis and Zoe escape, and Chris begins to pursue them. They hide in a Spanish classroom, and while Zoe examines Lewis's wound, they confess their feelings to each other. Lewis also tells her about the explosives hidden in the van. Zoe decides to check it out and leaves the classroom, but Chris finds her and starts chasing her. This time, Zoe runs to the chemistry classroom, opens all the burners, and sets them on fire. When Chris tries to approach, the room explodes. However, her attempt to escape fails again. Chris catches up with her, hits her head against the glass door of the cabinet, and throws her to the floor. As he is about to destroy her, someone shoots Chris and eliminates him forever. The police, hearing the shots, approach the attacker, who turns out to be Zoe's father. They arrest him, and Zoe can only watch through the window. After that, Zoe takes Chris's assault rifle, returns to the dining room, and picks up Lewis's phone, which is lying on the floor in the hallway. She sends Tristan a photo of Chris's body, then intercepts the stream and declares that the world will remember her, not him. This infuriates Tristan. Tristan takes one of the explosive devices from the van and gives it to the student he is leading. Zoe sees them leaving and takes the moment to tell all the hostages to flee. Although Tristan is gone, there is still the problem of the bomb in the van. Zoe shifts the transmission into reverse, and the van pulls into a parking lot and explodes. The SWAT team uses this moment to enter the building. However, due to a mistake, they arrest Zoe, who is trying to find Tristan. An explosion from the next room distracts their attention. They find a body there, which they believe to be Tristan. While the SWAT team is investigating, Zoe sees her mother. She says she loves Zoe, says goodbye to her, and disappears forever. Zoe cries. Later, outside the school, the sheriff releases Zoe, takes her hand, apologizes for the arrest, and praises her actions. In response, Zoe asks to see her father. They are brought together in a police car, where they reconnect and confess how much they mean to each other. After making sure Lewis is okay, Zoe notices Tristan sneaking out of school. He has faked his death by dressing as another student so that the police will mistake his burned body for his. Zoe takes the rifle and follows him into the woods, where Tristan retrieves the money and passport he had hidden as part of his plan from a box under a bridge. Zoe doesn't hesitate to shoot him from a distance. When she gets closer and sees that he is still alive, she remembers her father's advice about unfinished business. She picks up a large stone to finish the job. However, when she throws the stone, she misses, and Tristan falls into the water. Zoe decides to leave Tristan there to die. She believes that unlike animals, suffering is what he deserves. If you have watched the video so far, you should know that I am happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Klonsak Recapped was with you. See you soon.